Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to use Hyundai and Kia OEM scan tool that we call it GDS. So generally Hyundai and Kia, they've had uh, different type of OEM scan tools during the years, but GDS is actually one of the most common ones. They use this device for years and it's actually one of the very good and complete scan tools in the market uh, for those cars. The price is very good. It's very cheap. You can find it for something like around 150 in the market it's called gds as you see on here it's called gds the only negative point about this scan tool is kia and hyundai stopped using this scan tool after 2018 so it means if you have this scan tool it covers every car up to 2018 which is still okay because if you consider the price which is only 150 and 100% uh, coverage for any car before 2018, it's absolutely amazing. And the other thing is, uh, when you buy this scan tool, not only you have the device to diagnose the car, to do everything 100% on every single system on the car, but also it provides all the workshop manuals, wine diagram, and the procedure to diagnose the car when you have any fault code. So it means not only you buy the scan tool itself, uh, but also you can have access to all the wine diagram, everything uh, there. I'm not gonna put any link on the description for this scan tool because after doing a quick search on the Google for Kia and Hyundai GDS, you can find it anywhere. So basically after the software installation, you will have the GDS over here. You need to click on it to open the software. But on the VCI itself, I have two cable. This one is connected to OBD2 connector and the other one is connected to my laptop. So it means basically this VCI is getting the information from the car from here and is transferring it through my laptop so I can read it on the software. Let's open the software and see how it works. Okay, so this is what you see uh, when you open the software. First of all, you have different categories over here. This one is for the diagnosis, for reading the codes, reading the live data, performing the actuation tests, that sort of thing. And then you have the vehicle software management or a special function here. And for circuit diagrams and some more information regarding the repair. I'm going to explain all of them one by one. You, you have the quick access down here as well. As you see, for DTC, current data, actuation test, everything is down here. So if you look at down here, uh, manual is actually for finding the workshop manuals, wine diagram. TSP is for technical service bulletin, case studies or case analysis. Uh, DTC is for reading default codes. Current data, of course, is for the live data. Actuation test for uh, performing the actuation test on any systems, we can use this one. Uh, flight record for recording the information. Uh, oscilloscope, you have the oscilloscope here, but it doesn't work on this software because we need another interface that we call it VMI. So that interface that I showed you at the beginning, that's called uh, VCI. But for, the, for using the oscilloscope, we need uh, VMI, another device. Fault code searching, actually for uh, searching the fault code for all systems, we can use this one and a couple of other options for internet update and reporting that we, we normally are not gonna use. So first of all, let's go for up here for selecting the car. We need to select the car first. When you go for the car selection, you can uh, write the VIN number here and click on the search, or you can select the car step by step. I'm gonna do it here step by step just so you can see what happens. So this car is a Kia, so that's why I see the Kia. If you have Hyundai, you don't see the Hyundai vehicles here. So you will have actually two software, one for the Kia, for one for the Hyundai. They work exactly the same, but the software is different for each company. So I need to scroll down to find this car, which is a Kia Rio UB. You need to select the model year and engine type. So if you go for VIN number, if you insert the VIN number and search, it will select everything automatically. You don't need to do it. So here we have the system selection. We have engine right here, automatic transmission, ABS and ESP is clear. This is airbag, air conditioning, electronic power steering, 
Type Penetration Monitoring System, Immobilizer, Smart Key System, uh, BCM, and this one is for the code for reprogramming the remote for uh, when you have immobilizer. If you select all and press on fault code searching, system will try to read the code for all systems. But if you are just diagnosing one system like engine, you click on the engine, you select the type, and that system is going to show up here. And then I need to go for OK. So I can see what I selected so far. It's a Kia Rio UB 2012 with a gasoline 1.6 GDI engine. And this is the system I have selected. It's uh, engine. So anytime that I, if you are doing the diagnostic and you want to change the system to something else, you don't need to do everything all over again. You just click on the system and you change the system from here. So I'm not going to change it right now. So right now for reading the codes, I can click on DTC analysis from here or from the one down here. All right, as you see, I clicked on the current data and DTC at the same time to see both of them on one screen. So there is no fault code up here. This page at the top, this one shows DTC, which uh, there is no DTC present at this time. And here I see the current data or live data for for the car. I can make a full screen for this one. So you see all the options, all the live data for engine right now. If I scroll down to show some of them to you, for example, if I have a look at this one and the second one, which are actually accelerator pedal position sensor one and two, you see the voltage. If I press the gas pedal right now, you see the voltage is changing because of course I'm pressing the gas pedal and if I release it, it's gonna go back to normal. So you can read the live data from here. And if you, if you wanna perform actuation test, you just click on this one. At the same time, I have the live data and the actuation test from here. You can select any option from here. For example, the ETC motor for the throttle body actuator. And if I press start, the ignition switch is on and engine is off it's going to open the throttle body. So I can hear the throttle body opening right now. Stop. So for example, if I fix this one for you at the top, let's bring the throttle position sensor one and two. So you see those ones at the top. One of them is actually showing the duty cycle for ETC motor sensor one and sensor two. And if I try to actuate the throttle body actuator from here, you need to have a look at up here to see what happens. So you see, you see the throttle position sensor one and two, this, these are actually the percentage. They are showing that the throttle body is fully open. And if I release it, it's gonna go back to normal. So we have some other options before going to the manuals. You see at the top, vehicle software management. This is what many scan tools call it. Uh, special function so if you click on it you see all the special functions for this system for the engine some options like reading the win number writing the win number resetting adaptive values and some other options so for example if you go for reading the win number you can click on the ok and as you see i can read the vehicle number from here and for resetting adaptive values if you click on it you see the conditions, it tells you everything, including the conditions, ignition on, engine off. If you click on the reset, you actually reset the uh, engine control module. So this is actually the easiest way to perform most of the tasks for different systems. Reading the code, reading the live data, performing the actuation test, and monitoring the live data when you are performing the actuation test. There are some other options, as I told you earlier, for uh, manuals for finding the workshop manuals and for the wine diagrams as you see down here I have manuals if I click on the manual I have a new page open and because I have already selected my car it shows everything for this car of course if you click on here you can select any different car for this brand on the first section you can select actually between different options. Shop manual is the repair guide, ETM for wine diagrams, 
uh, DTC guide is actually the guide for each single fault code on the car and I'm going to show you how to use it it's really helpful for any fault code that you have on the car you can find a guide from here some of other options for actually replacing the components or removing the body uh, components that you can normally find it on the shop manual as well so if I go for this engine for the workshop manual you see all the systems general information engine mechanical engine electrical emission control system fuel system clutch manual transaxle automatic transmission all the way to all systems on the car uh, they are mentioned here like for the uh, for removing any part on the car you can just go for body interior and exterior so you see all the components here for example if you want to remove any uh, exterior part you can just find it from here and uh, like for bumper if you want to remove the bumper you click on here for example front bumper you click on component first of all it shows you the component and if you click on the repair procedure you see a step-by-step -step guide for removing the front bumper okay so exactly like that for any interior trim as well if i go for example for fuel system engine control systems you have all the sensors over here for example for electronic throttle body if you click on it you have description you have the description about what the throttle body is and tr troubleshooting some guides for this specification uh diagram and the repair procedure how to remove it if there is any sort of adjustment reset function everything is mentioned here let's go for the wind diagram if you select etm from here it's actually the wind diagram so again you need to select the car which in this case is 2012 i go for this engine again so you have the component locations connector views harness layouts and the diagrams so uh, like if you go for one of them for example uh, mfi engine control system and if i click on this one i will have the diagram is exactly like this so this is exactly the wine diagram so here i have some guide that this is for this engine and with empty or manual transmission if i go for example for another type with automatic transmission everything's mentioned here okay if you are going for example to find these two wires on pcm you can find the you have the pin numbers over here you have the connector code if you click on the connector code you will have the uh, connector details as well so this is the connector itself with all the details you need to find and here's the connector location uh on the car so it shows which one is actually which for example this one is e triple gma is this one is e triple gmk so it shows you which connector is actually uh which one so this is from a wine diagram you have all the diagram for everything and the wine diagram is accurate so you can hardly find any mistake on the diagram because this is oem scan tool if you go for DTC guide from here, you have the diagnostic procedure for each single fault code on the car. So from here, you select the system. For example, if you go for the engine, you have all the fault codes here. Uh, so if I select one of them, for example, this one. So this is the fault code, uh, P, P0076. So as you see, this is the fault code. Fault code for the engine, P0076, intake valve control solenoid circuit low. Uh, first of all, it shows you the components location, some general description about that part to give you some general understanding about that component operation. And then you have DTC description, uh, for example, when ECM detects short to ground in OCV intake, it will set this fault code so this is basically why this dtc is set and then some possible causes over here you will have the specifications 
for example this solenoid valve internal resistance is this one and some other specs for waveform on uh, oscilloscope so on the first page you have the general information and uh, the specifications and if you go from here on the second one it gives you everything you need for the scan tool diagnostic on the scan tool for example if you are supposed to uh, check anything it shows you what items must be checked and what are the uh, specification for it what you should expect after diagnosing with the scan tool you can go for the wiring harness inspection and as you see it shows you everything for power circuit inspection it shows you what to do it's asking you to measure the voltage between power terminal of ocv harness connector and chassis ground uh, and shows you the specification as well and then control circuit it shows you that one as well and again you have the specification this is really good for any fault code basically the first thing you need is some sort of help where to start how to do the job and what are the specifications everything is mentioned over here this is exactly one of the very best scan tools i've ever tried because generally when you have oem scan tool they are supposed to cover everything 100 percent for that brand but not all of them are providing the help like the workshop manuals uh wine diagram and dtc guide so that's why this scan tool is really helpful the only negative point is actually the update as i told you you may not find the update after 2018 which is not a big deal because the device is so cheap you can have it in your uh, workshop for any car before 2018 which could because the device is something like 150 200 not more than that all right guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos because you will find many other videos that we used different scanners as well and please don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the notification when we upload other videos thank you very much